evening, my beautiful girls. It's me, Cleolea. And yes, I am in a ton of pain at the moment. If you know, you know. You know, it's your girl's time of the month. So, I'm not feeling very good. Usually, when it's that time of the month, we just like to sit around and watch movies and not do anything. I sadly have a ton of things that I have to get done. Today, I'm going to be attempting a billionaire's morning routine. It's currently 11 p.m. I've been trying to wake up like early lately and like reset my schedule. So I took mixers, if you've heard of it. So I'm gonna take this quickly so I can get to bed so that we can wake up early, which is what I'm trying to get at right now. All right, well, the show must go on. We must still accomplish this billionaire routine because I'm pretty sure even billionaires, if they've got these situations, they're always on the grind. So we're gonna just pray and hope that um, going to bed makes me feel a lot better, so. It's 5.38 currently here, if you wanna see. It is time to get this morning started. I've gotta admit, I like, when I woke up, that alarm clock is probably the worst alarm clock I could have ever chosen because it just makes me like, wake up and be like, oh, that's so nice. I wanna go back to bed. Whew, okay, I'm awake, I'm awake, I got this. I gotta make my bed, because when we make our bed, that means that we get one thing accomplished. All the military people and there's a bunch of books and all these things about it. I... If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. I, I said in one of the chapters of my books is, is, is focused on putting your house in order. It's like, well, how do you start? Make your bed. It's very important. So we did that. There we go. Let's go. The second step is meditate. It says that you need to meditate. You need to be very one with yourself and like get that quiet time. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure if like when you meditate, I need to be better about this because I don't really do this very often. I actually have a hard time like being one with myself. I don't know if meditation is supposed to like be the whole. Practice your breathing. Am I supposed to be stretching? Like, you know. Okay, I should probably just be quiet, be one with myself. Maybe like if I'm hyping myself up the daily affirmations and like kind of giving myself like that goal and that mindset for the day. Yeah, let's try that. No. This whole meditating thing is kind of hard. I'm just a little confused. The next step said to drink water, but it also said drink a healthy drink. So I mean, this has got 10% coconut water, 250 milligrams of BCAAs. You know what though? Logan Paul made it, so it's gotta be somewhat healthy. Maybe I should not be drinking this in the morning, but. What on earth? All right, step number four is to exercise or do yoga. No, it looks way too cold to um, go outside and do exercise. I guess I'm gonna have to do some exercises in here. I don't know, I'll probably do some very low key stuff, making sure that my body's fully, fully warmed up and ready for the day. I mean, hey, it is one of the $1 billion steps to a good morning routine. And if I want to not be slacking, I guess I gotta do it, so. Cold. It is 32 degrees. <laughs> it take a cold shower, which I don't know if that's gonna like just mess everything else up and like make my body freak out. But I do know that ice baths are good for you, and it's the next step that I gotta take. So I gotta do it. I obviously am not allowed to be wearing this. So give me a second. Ready? I am so cold right now. Can I please turn that on? 
I'm gonna turn it on just to warm me up more. So it'll be like my own personal version of a sauna. I'm gonna stand in front of the nice heater to, you know, keep me warm so that I don't freeze and then freeze getting into the cold. I probably look so weird right now, but. I mean, hey. It literally says here that entrepreneur and author Tim Ferriss takes a cold shower every morning to improve mental clarity and reduce stress. And LeBron James says, I'm a big fan of ice baths and cold showers to reduce inflammation and speed up recovery. I gotta get that mental game. I gotta. I love taking cold showers. I'm like actually so excited right now. It's gonna be refreshing. I'm not gonna cry. Thinking like a billionaire means being like a billionaire, which means this will be a success and it won't be for nothing. It's time. Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just did my freaking finger and it feels like ice. <sighs> I don't know. Is three minutes a good amount of time? Okay, here we go. Can I wear my socks? My toes are so cold. They like look so white now. Don't look my feet. Maybe if I just like stick my butt in first. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I just gotta go for it. Okay. Holy mother of a pearl. Can I keep my feet out? This is terrible. Holy frick, I don't know how I did this before. I can't do that. Oh my god. I can't do that. I become like a billionaire. Oh my gosh, we've still got like two minutes left. I can't feel the middle of my legs, so that's good. My butt's completely frozen. I don't know how people do this. And it's like ice ice baths. I mean, this is freezing. Don't get me wrong. You gotta do it. Holy shit, talkie. Okay, okay. This sucks so much. Focus on my breathing. Once you like actually get out of it, it's fine. I feel better. I do feel like very alive and awake and then there's no way in heck I'm gonna be like falling asleep. That was good. I hated it, but it was good. Cold shower done. I'm feeling like very revived. The next step is to like read a book. However, my stomach is really growling. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna switch that. We're gonna make a good breakfast. And then while I'm eating my breakfast, we can feed my mind too. So my siblings usually we all have days, as you can tell from that that thing, where we cook. However, since they're still all not awake, I'm gonna make like a pre-breakfast basically, something quick. I love having yogurt with protein powder and like blueberries. We don't have blueberries. What can I make that's yummy? I know. I'm gonna make protein oatmeal. <laughs> I want it to be kind of more liquidy and like not fully cooked through. So that sounds yummy. This is gonna be great. Maybe I'll actually add an apple too. Yeah, so that turned into a lot, not just a little. I'm actually so surprised at how awake I am right now. Like I am very just like alert and up. I guess they were right about the whole ice bath thing. Maybe I have to do that more. Now, I've got the brain power. Everything's awake and alert to start reading my book. I'm currently reading How to Win Friends and Influence People. I love this book. It's honestly so beneficial, but it's just like basically how to better connect with people, how to like make good connections and whatnot. It's super good. Yeah, obviously sitting like that is not the best option. It's gonna make me fall asleep. I'm learning a lot of great things though that I think you should know. I think I should share it with you. You know why? Because it's important to share with people what you're learning and speak it so that you can remember it, so. You gotta smile. Learn to smile. Does the value of a smile at Christmas cost nothing but creates much enriches those who receive? Nobody needs a smile so much as those who have none left to give, so. I like that. I gotta do that. I have a really bad RBF, so I'm always like, I look like I hate you. <laughs> Another thing that it says is to read the daily news. I'm gonna use my phone for this and this only. Google box star George Gilby fell 80 feet to his death. Okay, nope. 
Um, what? <laughs> okay, well, I did that. I am feeling really cold. Like I, I honestly just want to snuggle up in one of these blankets, but I can't. Because we all know that I'm gonna fall asleep. I think like it's all hit me and I'm starting to kind of relax more now. And like, so I think I'm gonna get some tea. I finished my food. So I think some tea will warm me up. That is the next step. The next step is to write your to-do list. Quick recommends also writing a to feel and to be list. That reminds me, I'll be right back. Um, I got this journal a long time ago, the five minute journal. It asks you, what are you grateful for? And that you write your highlights of the day and what did I learn today? One second, I need water. I've got to admit, like, I don't know what happened, but I have a huge headache now. Gosh, this is weird. My neck and like my upper head hurts so bad. I think I might just need to like relax my head a little bit more. I think I'm like doing so many things going all over the place. Like this routine is honestly really helpful, but I think also like just jumping right into it one day, I need to like, it's just good stuff to learn. I, I'm honestly loving this. And honestly, this is great because now I'm writing in my journal. I can be mindful of these things and I honestly want to write this down, so. thoughts, basically what I told you. Oh, I'm gonna do mindfulness journal now. Okay, I've done my normal journal. I've done the five minute journal. The next task is to write out my to-do list of all the things that I need to get done today, but everyone else is eating some breakfast, so we're gonna pause that. Let's go have some breakfast with my family. Mom, your dad, you wish to be rich and yeah. successful in life? Yes. You should take an ice bath. No. It's proven to be super, super good for Have billionaires. Have you taken one? Yeah, I took one this morning and I'm still freezing. Where? In the bath. I'm learning lots of good, successful tips. So if you want to be rich, through play. Google. If you go broke. I'm just kidding. That's a phrase I saw on Twitter. I'm going to keep that in mind, I guess, now. Well. Had breakfast, had a second breakfast, feeling great, feeling very energized. I do actually kind of want to sleep. Like, my eyes are, I cannot, I cannot get over this. I cannot get over this atmosphere, but stay focused, okay? I think the next one is to just create a to-dos list for all the things that I need to do today. I forgot to do that. And then I got to start my day, which means doing my hair. <laughs> of course, right when I'm wanting to like, actually write down the things I need to get done, I completely forget of everything. I got it, I got it ready. We time blocked because I know that a lot of billionaires usually time block their day. They make that to-do list of all the things that they need to get done and then they time block it by hours or some of them, let me read you. They said that they, they time block their day in, I think I mentioned this, in like 15 minute increments. No, I can't do that. I think it takes 15 minutes just for me to like sit down and be like, okay, let's do this. Maybe eventually I'll get there, but we got that done. I am gonna just go get ready for the day now. It is now 10, 18 a.m. And I gotta say that was actually a really great routine. I actually enjoyed that. I think there's a lot of things that I'm going to implement and I'm gonna use. I obviously am not gonna follow this very quick schedule just because I think that there are ways that would be better for my body. And a lot of them did mention, they said wake up early. They didn't say, oh, we all, every billionaire wakes up at 5.30, 4 a.m., whatever. There's a lot of things that I wanna implement into this and I am getting in the grind now. I got all my journals. I got a water bottle, a huge one. It's gonna be great. Thank you for coming along with me and being my motivation and my accountability partner. I hope that I was also your accountability partner or um, motivational partner. Anyways. I had so much fun hanging out with you. Check out this video right here. Come and hang out with me. It's gonna be amazing. I am sure that this video is fantastic. And I will see you there in a couple seconds. Bye.